everybody. It is I, Multi12679. And today is a very special day in Splat the world of Splatoon. Today I am playing as a Charger. And you may be wondering why am I playing as a Charger when I say I don't like Charger types. Well, today I found the perfect Charger for me. And it is the one with Splat Bombs. Not first, not first bombs. You heard me right. Uh, splat bombs. Um, so it was only recently, the other day, when I was like, okay, why don't I like chargers? Like, I can, I can use almost every other weapon in this game, but chargers. So I took the liberty of being like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try, even if it's for a little bit, to use try to use different weapons. So I decided that, oh, maybe using a Maybe using a charger today would be beneficial. So I started using a charger just recently, and oh my gosh, they're they're actually annoyingly fun to use. Like, eh. okay. So you see this guy standing up here trying to camp me. Let's ink up his place. The best thing. Of about a charger weapon, or what I now know about a charger weapon is the real great strength. It's not just the range, but ow, by the way, um, not just the range of the charger itself. It's just the pure intimidation factor. Let me explain. So, when you see a charger, your first instinct is to be like, oh, well, better stay away from that area because the charger is pretty much occupying it, and because of that. You tend to run away and you tend to flee because you know if you know if you get if you've been splatted by a charger you know how unpleasant it is. Also, that guy got hit with two bombs and didn't die. Okay then. <laughs> okay, Nintendo, whatever you say. I'm not gonna argue. But the intimidation factor of the charger is what really makes the charger stand out. Because I didn't realize it until I started playing with the charger that it's like, it's not the charger weapon itself that is good. It's just the fact that people are intimidated that are going to run away from you because of the range and the power you possess because of your of yourself being a charger. And unlike most chargers, they just kind of camp and don't like ink stuff, which that is kind of bad if you ask me, but... Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a charger who likes... I love inking places more than I like killing people. Unless it's... It, unless it we're playing Splat Zones and we're on a few Pacific stages. Because there's a few Pacific stages in Splatoon that are really good for a charger. I'm still trying to think... I'm chill... I'm still on the iffy... If, wishy-washy on this stage if Charger is really good because there's just there's a lot of areas okay somebody dropped oh cool no that's not the guy never mind I completely forgot what I was thinking anyways I was thinking yeah that was the guy who didn't die from my splat bomb that clearly landed on him twice anyways what was I saying um so Flounder Heights is a good stage for chargers. Flounder Heights, um, Port Mackerel, um, Hammerhead Brig, I'm still on the fence about. Camp Tigerfish is probably another good one, but, like, Blue Del Blue Delfino is also an iffy one, like, it depend. it's all depending on how the other t opposition looks with the ranged weapons and how good you are as the sniper on your alone song. Because if you, as long as you can intimidate the opponent, I feel like you can't really lose. But it is also really heavily dependent on your teammates and what they're able to do. Uh, the paintbrush, for example, probably won't do very well on our team. I can just tell because he's running using the paintbrush thing instead of, you know... Okay, never mind, he's doing that now. I don't know why I did that. I thought I thought our map wasn't... Uh, 
kinked enough, so I was going back, but whatever. For me, I like staying back and not just and not just be in an area and try to camp out people, because the one thing I really don't like about people who use the sniper classes, and this is just me, pers a personal opinion in my case, anyways, was like, if you if you just sit and wait for a opponent to come to you, the more likely than not, you're not even going to get anything done, for the most part. big thing is that you do not have to charge your charger weapon all the way to be able to kill people. It usually takes probably a partial, a partially charged shot, uh, then, you know, like, I have also trapped the trap thing on so I can know when people are going to throw traps and stuff. But for me, it's, the sniping isn't just about being secretive and running away. It's more just like how you can use your mobility and also your weapon and your sub-weapons to the best of its capabilities. Uh, for example, um, my slap bomb barrage, which is really good. I Any type of the sp uh, splat, burst, bomb, brigade sort of things, those are always good. Okay, I'm leaving now. Because you can just bomb away everybody and make them run away because they don't like the bombs as much as I do. And yeah, that's pretty much all you really gotta learn for Charger. It only took me like one whole night of just playing as Charger on Port Mackerel and this stage, Flounder Heights, to realize, you know what, Chargers aren't bad. Just people don't really know how to utilize them. And when they try to, they just really end up just biting the dust. Note that we did have a guy who disconnected also, so maybe I shouldn't be really talking, but... I feel like there's only a few ranked battle scenarios where you can really do good. I'll probably shut that off in the next part anyways. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah. But pretty much how you would, I, I myself use Sniper is squad goals. Squad goals is pretty much broken down into this. One, does your team need you on the front line? If no, then stay back and cover base. Two, do you need to cover base? If yes, then go ahead and do that and do not worry about getting kills. Because kills in turf war aren't as important as covering the ink, as we all know at this point, or should know at this point. Uh, three, if you, can, if you are going to go in full commando mode and go ahead and, you know, just go for kills, what is what is your sub weapons? What are your main? How long does your sniper rifle go? Because all these things are very important for you to survive as a sniper. Can you wall out attackers? Do you have enough precise aim so if something was to try to overwhelm you, you could pretty much kill them like a shot? Poor guy. Uh, what's another thing? Mm. Do you use the fact that you can cover so much ink for everywhere to block the opponent? Because that's another good thing that you need to learn how to do when you are using a sniper weapon. Be able to block, be able to be comfortable not just shooting to kill people, but shooting to block the opponent from going anywhere. Because if you can do that, then you can usually trap them to make them move in a pretty predictable manner. And, you know, kill them. Again, I'm not trying to go for the kill, I'm just trying to... No. 
Yep, and that was the end of that guy. <laughs> so there's a lot of technical things that you have to put into consideration. Note that sometimes it is sometimes just your team members that aren't really contributing too much. I don't really like the whole like camp for wait and camp for um the opposite end of the team to come and drop in where you're at where you're at. Because I'm like uh I could be doing so many more productive things. Okay. Again, this stage is like okay, I mean, for the snipe or the charger weapon. I should say sniper. That guy wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is. That's a good example of, you know, I can got to know when to run. This bucket guy is going ham, but I'm going to cover instead of trying to kill him because that's more important right now. And because of that, I think our team won. Okay. Anyways, I was going to show you my gamepad, but anyways, we're going to see on the screen. Uh, yeah, most of that was me. Most of that was me, I won't lie. Because each round, as you saw, I get at least high 700s for Sniper. Because I do pretty well with Sniper. I didn't die. I got four kills that round, so that's good. But I just didn't ink as much as I should have, but that's also because my team was doing pretty good holding down the four. Which I love when your team can do that. Because it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about having a bad team. Because as long as you actually are... You know, a sniper who at least, if you can if... As a charger, your job is to do this. One, ink any areas that your teammate doesn't need inked. Two, help your, air, help your team get to a farther distance just because of how long your range is. So they can just go up all the way and be like, okay, now we can camp these guys. Be support. Because, again, sniper is not a standalone thing where you just won't need support. You're always going to need support as a charger. And if you don't have that support, then you're more li more likely than not to be dead. <sighs> I mean, sometimes you can just solo it with a sniper, but it's pretty hard because it's easy to get overwhelmed once two people try to tag up on you. Because there was a lot of scenarios when I was trying this the other night where it's just like, oh, well, I can escape this way. No, I can't because I got pincer attack. Like, three people would come after me, the sniper, because they know. Because sometimes they know when a sniper is actually doing a whole lot for the team. So that if they go after the sniper, and then the other team is, like, dead. So it's like, okay, well, now we took down the most prominent support that they have. But anyways, guys, that's not enough for me. I'll go into more depth about the charger when we go into, um, ranked battle. Today is September the 22nd? But anyways, anyways guys, that's enough Splatoon for today. I didn't want to keep you guys too long today. But I have been Multi126189, and I will catch you guys next time for Ranked Battle with the Charger. So I've been Multi126189, as I've mentioned before, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao, ciao for now.